Now who's ready to get to the quizzing? Nothing to it but to HQ it. Here we go. A wit question number one. In construction, what is a useful material for holding bricks together? Gak, creamy peanut butter, or cement? Hmm. What's it gonna be? You got your bricks, stacking them up. How are you gonna get them to stay together? Well, if they don't stick together, those bricks aren't good for much, except uh, ruining windows. So, we're lucky to have a substance known as mortar. And mortar is usually a form of cement. Yeah, babies. That's how you build. You know what I'm saying? What, what? 284,519 of you are stacking your way up to question number two. Let's get it. A famous quote from The Godfather is, I'm gonna make him an offer he can't what? Refuse, understand, or hit or miss. Y'all know The Godfather, baby? What'd he say? Vito Corleone wasn't big on uh, long negotiations. Not when you could pull the other guy's horse into the process and seal the deal in a few minutes. Vito, in other words, was a big fan of offers one could not refuse. I'm gonna make him an offer he can't refuse. That's right. Refuse is the answer there. Ha 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 ha. 276,748. I'm moving on to question number three. Whoop did it dee Here we go. Which of these is a common type of salad dressing? Hollandaise, au jus, or vinaigrette? You get your, you get your leafy greens, you know what I'm saying? A little tomato maybe, some feta cheese, and then you dress it with whatever you really want to, but this one, one of these is a, a common type of salad dressing, okay? The culinary universe offers a galaxy of dressings, sauces, and condiments. But only one of these you're likely to find in a salad bar is that vinegary tasting vinaigrette. Yeah, 270,575. Got that one right. The rest of y'all trying to put hollandaise on, on your salads. Maybe a brunch? I know, I doubt it. Okay, question number four. Here we go. Let's get it. By definition, what is a glossophobe afraid of? Public speaking, mirrors, or success? What's it gonna be? A glossophobe. Glossophobe. Okay, just like it's a good idea to memorize every movie if you want to win HQ, it doesn't hurt to memorize ancient Greek roots. Phobia means fear, of course, and glosso means the tongue, as used in so many forms of speaking, including public. Yeah. Public speaking, that's the, woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo! Okay, here we go. Savage question, starting the weekend off crazy. Savage question song. Sorry you got it wrong. Savage question song, that's a savage question song. Savage question, savage question. Mm. Yeah, 73,259 of y'all got that one right. Congratulations to you. A lot of extra lives getting, getting, Dropped right now, and it's only question four. Let's get it going with some more game, babies. Question number five coming at you live. Ah, 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 ah. Question five, question five. Woo! I'm so hyped right now. Okay, here we go. Who was president of the U.S. when World War II ended? Harry S. Truman, Dwight D. Eisenhower, or Franklin D. Roosevelt? This is the president of the U.S. when the World War, the second one, was over. All right, Franklin Delano Roosevelt led the nation for 12 long years, including the hardest stretches of World War II. Then, Truman took over to, uh, to bat cleanup. Harry S. Truman, babies, 50,511. I'm moving on to question number six. That's the one before seven. Oh, bars, homie. Yeah, here we go. Q6, Scrambled Eggs was Paul McCartney's placeholder title as he wrote what song? Yesterday, Let It Be, or Penny? Let's see. Everybody knows Paul turned a song about food into a timeless chart hit, which kind of makes him the opposite of Weird Al Yankovic. Uh, one morning he woke up with scrambled eggs, Oh My Baby How I Love Your Legs. That was going through his head, and uh, that was the seed of, of yesterday. Yeah. Yesterday, babies, 34,269 are feeling great on your way to question number seven. That's the one before eight. Oh, feeling very susy 
Susikul. Here we go. Question seven. Which of these places shares a border with Hungary? Germany, Croatia, or Czech Republic? Come on, geography. Get your cap on to get your map on. Could we talk about some borders, y'all? Here we go. Despite being pretty medium-sized, Hungary has seven neighbors from Eastern Europe's Ukraine to Slovenia out west and just south of Slovenia, sharing a 200-mile border with Hungary, is Croatia! Yeah! Shout out my boy Matt Pavich. He's Croatian. <laughs> 21,839. I'm moving on to question number eight. That's the one before nine. Yeah. Here we go. Salvador Dali once designed a logo for what type of snack? Tea cake, lollipop, or licorice? Tea cake, lollipop, or licorice, y'all. Salvador Dali. I, I was calling him Salvador Dali, and I was corrected. Dali. Yeah. All right, you can, uh, you can actually still see these in some of the fancier stores, often in a display near the register. And of course, they haven't changed their logo with a name like Dali behind it, you know? It's Chupa Chups, y'all. Yeah. The globally popular Spanish-made lollipop. Lollipop, fun don't stop. Chupa Chups, my favorite pops. I just made a jingle. Chupa Chups, holla at me, y'all. Let's get some money together. 19,292 knew what to do. Look at you. Look at you. Question number nine. Here we go. The graphics to the original Pac-Man include a symbol from what other video game? Space Invaders, Galaxian, or Rally X? We talk about the OG Pac-Man now, okay? The original. Yes. Making you slog through the maze a little more exciting is the bonus items. We got fruit, other little tokens with extra points. Uh, you know, like, uh, what was it? It was cherries, uh, keys, right? including the 2,000-point Galaxian flagship. Look at it! There you go. That was 2,000 points if you got one. Galaxian is the answer I was looking for. Who got it? 13,850 of y'all HQDs. I'm so proud of you. I'm, I'm proud, babies. Okay. Time for question number 10. Here we go again, my friends. Here, y'all ready? Let's get it. Massive fad. Toy brand. Giga Pets included which of these varieties? Micro Chimp, Pocket Pup, or Cutie Cat? Y'all remember Giga Pets? The little keychain babies you had to take care of? Yeah, I mean, I bet you heard Tamagotchis. And if Tamagotchis were Transformers, then uh, Giga Pets were Gobots. Yeah, extremely similar, just widely less popular. Even though they had an adorable Micro Chimp! Giga Pets! All the girls that I knew that had more than four of these were moms. Really early. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that, though. 6,741 of y'all got microchimp. Congratulations. It's time for question 11. All dogs go to heaven on this Friday night. Let's get it. Here we go. What is the capital of the state with the lowest percentage of licensed drivers? Tallahassee, Albany, or Cheyenne? The capital of the state with the lowest percentage of licensed drivers. Okay, here we go. What kind of state wouldn't have a lot of licensed drivers, huh? Probably one where millions of people spend every day riding the subway. Like New York, where only about 59% of residents are licensed drivers. And whose capital is Albany. Come on now. 2,979. That's a savage question right before question 12. So I'm gonna do both songs. Let's go. Savage question song. Sorry, you got it wrong. Savage question song. That's the second savage question song. And question 12. What's that smell? Smells like money. Follow me, I met what's funny. Woo! Question 12. I said, question 12. Need some water. Huh. No water. Drink a little bit. A little bit of the water. Mm. My throat is scratchy. Hey, better call my pappy. Sorry. <laughs> what? Okay. Here we go. Which musician did not complete his EGOT last year? John Legend, Andrew Lloyd Webber, or Quincy Jones? Yeah. The EGOT, y'all. Let's check it out. 
Well, if you count honorary humanitarian awards, then Quincy Jones is an EGOT. However, he got finished with the cycle in 2016 when The Color Purple on Broadway won Best Musical. It was Johnny and Drew that did, uh, you know, they, they, they finished it this past year. So Quincy Jones, if you guess Quincy Jones, you get some money right now. 2,734 just won HQ Trivia. Hold up, hold the phone. Winning money, Woo! winning money. Congratulations are in order to all of our lovely, lovely winners.